In Washington, all we seem to hear about is one side talking negatively about the other. Threats, broken promises, what we do not hear much of is what's actually getting done. Senator David Peru agreed to sit down with Vinnie Politan for a no-holds-barred interview and answer some tough questions. What do you have? What do you have? Yeah, what do you have? I'm gonna have. Two, How you doing today? I'm gonna have two chili dogs walking and a uh, fo. What I see every day, whether it's on social media or on television, in Washington, is like there's two teams um, that don't like each other, that don't work together, that don't care about each other, and I get the impression they care more about their teams than our country. Am I right or wrong? You're totally right, 100%. Orrin Hatch talks about he and Ted Kennedy would fight like cats and dogs during the day, but at night they'd have dinner together and talk about how to solve the problem. Today, the self-interest of getting reelected outweighs the, the national good. Is More, it personal relationships? Is it like going out and grabbing a chili it's dog? It's partly someone? that, but it's also partly outside groups. The outside groups have actually, um, I think, um, made it more uh, the, more, we're, we're split as a country, right, in some ways. Less out here than we are in Washington. In Washington, what's going to take, or two, one of two things will happen. We'll have a crisis, and we won't be able to borrow our way out of it. And I personally think we're headed for one. I think we're in one right now. Or you'll have some people who actually get the feeling and the mood of the country and say, look, put your personal interest aside and let's get something done. I got elected talking about compromise is not a four-letter word. You know, uh, when did everybody, anybody get everything you want? I ask people, is anybody in the crowd married? You know, this is not, <laughs> this is not a situation where we go to Washington expecting to get 100% of what we want. Are you friendly with any Democrats? Sure. Is, is there a sure. Democrat that you could sit down with and, and, and have a meal or oh, yeah. do something oh, fun absolutely. together? Yeah, we do that all the time. But not enough of it. And not Can enough you give me in one name? Sure. Joe Manchin, Sheldon okay. Whitehouse, Chris Coons. But I really believe we're headed toward some sort of... Um, a time when we basically wake up and realize, I'm talking about politicians in Washington, wake up and realize that they're out of sync with the rest of the country. I think the electorate needs to look for people with an outside perspective. The inside perspective isn't working so well. We got $21 trillion of debt, $130 trillion of future unfunded liabilities. It's about $1 million for every household in America, Vinny, is the things that I can't afford government. that. Of course we can. Your kids can't either. So what you're saying is Republicans have to be reasonable yeah. as well. Yeah, you absolutely. Can't just totally. Say, hey, this is we won the election. You've got to do it. We totally said. agree. A hundred percent. Even in the mid part of the 19th century, we had all this acrimony and everything else. They still knew each other, and they they saw this as building a republic. We've taken our republic for granted, and that's where we are, both sides. And if if, if people realized what jeopardy we're in, then I think you would see a recognition that we're in a crisis and that we have to do something outside the box. What do you have? What do you have?